This is what's known as a hex code, as is this, and this. Each one represents a unique color on a digital display, and those of you who've spent enough time designing things on computers will be sick and tired of them by now. But where do they come from, and what do they mean? And why does hashtag facade represent this hideous shade of pink? Each color in the digital spectrum is a mix of red, green and blue in various quantities. Modern devices have enough memory to store 256 shades of each, which means there are a total of 16,777,216 different colors that need to be represented. The hex code provides a simple and extremely elegant way of doing this, provided you know how to decipher it. Firstly, you have to know that each six character code can be split up into three pairs. The first two symbols tell you how much red is in the color, the second two how much green, and the final pair dictate the quantity of blue. By the way, the hex doesn't come from the fact that there are six characters, nor because the code looks like a sort of mystical incantation. Hex, here, is short for hexadecimal, the counting system in base 16. Just like our use of the decimal system can be traced back to our ten digits, the hexadecimal system is what we would have come up with if we'd evolved an extra six fingers. As we don't have single digit representations of 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 or 15, we use the letters A to F instead. Instead of representing tens and ones, the columns in hexadecimal notation represent sixteens and ones. Consequently, 15 in hexadecimal notation is simply F, while 16 is represented as 1, 0, 32 is 2, 0, while 47 is 2, F. The largest number that can be represented by two digits is FF, which in decimal notation is 255. This means that every single shade of red, green and blue can be represented by a two-digit hexadecimal number from 00, 0 to FF and therefore any one of our 16 million plus colors can be mapped onto a single six character hex code. And to prove to you how easy, stroke, difficult uh, this code is, I'm going to try and test myself. I've written down some hex codes for a couple of colors, having familiarized myself with the system of the first two digits being red, the second two digits being green, the second three, the second last two digits being blue, and 000, zero, zero being black and 255 and FF, FF, FF being white. Knowing all that background information, I'm going to try and guess what sort of color these hex codes refer to. And I'm going to edit out the ones that don't work and leave you with the ones that show how well I've learned the system. So, without further ado, 2316 CD. Okay, so CD, that means we've got a lot of blue, not so much red, not so much green, so I'm going to say this is a lightish shade of blue. Ah, okay, this is fairly easy. FD, FD21. F means, you know, we've got 15 times 16, so we're already way up over 240 in both red uh, and green, and we're very low down on blue, so very high red, very high green, so that's light brown, not much blue, we can ignore the blue, so I'm going to say this is a light brown, with conviction. I hope this is right. D1A63E. Um, 3E is the lowest one, D1 is very high, A6 is pretty high, I mean that's, you know, that's, uh, A is like 10, so 10 times 16, so it's 160, that's pretty high, that's over half, so, not that this means anything to me either. Um, so D1, that's red, so this is primarily red, it's fairly light, it's fairly light, it's sort of a reddish brown, like an earth colour, I'm imagining a kind of clay, this is probably really going to be way off, but I'm imagining a kind of lightish clay colour. Was I right? 2B, 9A, 9A, okay, uh, 9A, 9A, uh, that, that's like 90, oh, no, that's 9 times 16, oh, never, never mind that, uh, 9A, 9A are the most important ones, there's green and blue, but not very high, so green and blue is, what the hell is green and blue, what's green and blue make, like a yellow, no, don't be an idiot, green and blue is, I have absolutely no idea, because I don't know where yellow fits into the spectrum. I'm going to say this is a sort of, uh, yellow? Ah, okay, fantastic. FF0012. FF is, you know, 16 times 50, 15 times 16 plus 15 times 1, so that's 255. That's the maxed out red. So this is a bright, light red. There's no contribution from the green and blue, of course, that's, you know, stick its oar in and contribute a little bit, but this is still primarily a nice, bold red. Recommended with, you know, either meat or fish. Nine 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 nine. Six nines. Six nines. All we need to know. Every color is equally represented, so this is 
fairly middle of the road, everybody's satisfied, like the colour that the whole family chooses to, you know, chooses to paint the kitchen with. Nobody likes it very much, but at least everybody, you know, nobody's throwing a hissy fit. So I'm going to say this is kind of a medium shade of grey. And finally, 2C B34A. 2C B34A. Um, B3 is the high one, right? Because B is like 11, so it's 11 times 16, so it's over 160. It's like 163 B3. So 163 with, you know, something in the 30s and something in the 50s. So that's the really significant one. So B3, yes, green is in the middle. Um, so it's very heavy green, very heavy green, so light green, because the higher we go, the closer we get to white. So green with a little bit, so primarily green. And that's, that's the end of the list. Jesus, I hope those weren't too badly off, or if they were, I hope they were funny. Thanks for watching.